Hello. Hallelujah. Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening to you all. How are we all doing today? I hope we all are fine. Hello, my beautiful family. How are we doing? Yes, so there is God in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We give you glory. We give you honor. Father, Lord, we are about to study your word once again, Lord. You say we want or two are gathered. You are in our midst, O oh Lord, King of kings, Lord of lords. He said, if we fellowship with one another, the blood of your Son, Jesus Christ, will clean us from every sin. Lord Almighty, as I am on life now, to Lord, to study with your children. Father, King of kings, do not allow us to speak in our own ways. Father, teach us your own way in the name of Jesus. Father, last me that is going to hear your word. Father, let salvation locate their home in the name of Jesus Christ. And let your light shine upon them in the name of Jesus Christ. Christ. Father, I pray at this hour that you open their hearts for your word this afternoon. I pray, Lord, you open their eyes to your to, for them to know your word, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. King of kings, I am that I am ancient of days. As we are going to eat this bread of life that will lead us to eternal life. Father, Lord, may, may we be fed this afternoon in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I cover this Facebook in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I take every distraction away in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 God bless you all. God bless you. God bless you. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. Um, today, please, I want to quickly say this. Today, we want to study a very important topic. Please, I want everybody to be here. And many, please don't forget to share this video. Share to your loved ones. We are here to help each other. Iron sharpen it and iron according to proverb. Let's sharpen it each other. Amen. Let's be example, good example to our people out there. Let them be hungry and also be tasting for the bread of life. The word of God is a bread of life. Let us not eat a food that will expire in our stomach, that we will eat now and we shit it away. Let's eat a food that will take us to our Father in heaven on the last day. Praise the Lord. That will take us to our Father on the last day. Let's eat that food. Amen. So, today, we want to talk about that. Is this uh, the word of God? Does it come from man? This word of God. Because many people are saying that this Bible is made that write it. Is Oibo. You are welcome, sir. God bless you, sir. He said is Oibo that writes the Bible. Like that. Epadomo that write this Bible. Like uh, it's not um uh, the Bible. Ah, forget Oibo, Oibo just brings you. Look at the way they just Oibo, all those white people, they are the one that wrote this Bible. They just give it to you. You just believe it. All those traditions. And uh, we don't believe in Bible because it's men like us that write it. And uh, so it came from white people. I want to let you to know today that we want to talk about it. This Bible does it is it really white people that write it? Like, is it really them that write it and bring it for us to be obeying? Is it them? Because many people today we refuse to have Bible. Many people today we don't want to. We don't even believe. We read, but we don't believe this Bible. Many of them don't believe this Bible, but they call themselves a Christian. Many of them they are not Christian. They are unbeliever, but they condemn this Bible. I want to tell you today. Anything that makes you to condemn this Bible, you are condemning God himself. And God, this word on that last day will judge you because this word of God is God. According to John chapter 1, he said the word was God. Was God. So anybody that is condemning this Bible, you have to be careful. I want to let you know that the Bible was not written by men, by the, by the will of men. No. The Bible was not written by men. This Bible was not written by men. Praise the Lord. So I want us today to learn this. I want us today to, to really study it. Let's look at the scripture, what they're talking about. Let's see. Amen. So I pray the Lord give us the understanding today in the name of Jesus. So he said, the message of God has not come by the will of men. Amen. The message of God, as in the word of God, has not come. By the will of men, no. How he said the holy men spoke as they were led by the Holy Spirit. The holy men speak. What did they call them? The holy men. They were holy. The holy men speak as they were led by the Holy Spirit. 
I believe most of us today, we are seeking for that Holy Spirit. So you see that it's not just a carnal person that write this Bible. It's not just unbeliever that write this Bible. Holy men. When they mean holy, holy men. Faithful men. That the Lord use. The Holy Spirit possess them. To write this Bible. Every word that I speak on this Bible. The Holy Spirit possess them to write it. Praise the Lord. Please share this video. Share this video as you share. God bless you. The Holy Spirit possess them. Man was inside them. For them to write this Bible. And they were holy. I repeat. The message of God has not come by the will of men. The holy men speak as the we are led by the Holy Spirit. So you that say that this Bible come from men, it did not come from the will of men or from men or this or white people that just write it for us to obey for us to. No, it did not come. It, it, it was it, 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 the holy men speak it because they were led by the Holy Spirit. That is why this Bible came out. It was the Holy Spirit that dwelt in Holy Men's body for them to write this Bible. I want us to learn something today. You that does not believe in Bible, today you are going to run and have your Bible. You are going to run and have what? Your Bible. This Bible was not, it was this message, which is the word of God. It didn't come by the will of men. No. The Holy, the Holy Men speak as the spirit, as they were led by the spirit. So now, amen, please share this video. Now, if a prophet or a servant of God does not preach the undiluted message, listen, if a servant of God or a prophet does not preach the undiluted word of God by the power of the Holy Spirit, both you and him are condemned. Listen, if you are going to church, your pastor is not preaching head time message. Your prophet, your, your, your pastor is not preaching what Jesus died for. You, the members, the pastor, all of them is condemned. Because this word of God was written by the holy man. By the spirit of God that dwelt in them, it was written. So now if a prophet or a teacher or a pastor bring another message for you to hear apart from this one you are seeing. Run for your life. Or else on the last day, or else on the last day, you will be condemned. Devil is a liar. I don't know what is happening to my phone right now. I can't explain what is happening to my phone. I don't know. Lord, take control. Amen. I cannot stop this live video. I'm going to finish it. They are just trying to stop this live video. Amen. So, if you are going to that church, you are still going to that church, they are not preaching the undiluted word of God. My brothers and sisters, if you don't want to be condemned on that last day, wrong. If they bring another gospel for you to listen, wrong. If they bring medultry for you to listen, wrong. What is the medultry? It doesn't mean God look at your heart. You can look like a Jezebel and come. You can have 30 boyfriends. In fact, they will tell you Bible school. Bible school is a doctrine of men. That is not God's doctrine. There is no way it, it, it is written in the Bible. Bible school is the doctrine of men. That is why when they came out from school, they will begin to preach prosperity. They will begin to tell story on the altar. They will begin to tell you how they suffer, how they suffer, 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 suffer. They can tell you sto uh, one story for three Sunday. You will be laughing. If they say they don't have anything to tell you, they will begin to bring a, a comedian for them to become a, a, be doing comedy for you to be laughing in the church. Like it's a comedy house. They will tell you you can marry two wives. They will tell you does not mean uh, you can ring. You must wed in the altar with ring. Praise the Lord. So I want to let you know, when you get, those are the doctrine of men. Listen to me. Those are, these, these are not what God died for. Listen. 
A marriage, what is recording here, is a, a traditional bride price marriage. That is what is recorded in the Bible. Then, when you go to church, if you want to wear white gown, it's fine, white garment, there's no problem about that, right? It's just a blessing, to receive a blessing. Not to put a ring, Jezebel, in their hand. Those are made adultery. They, miscript, they, they change the scripture that uh, uh, when uh, there is a, a, a man in the Bible, when he wants to marry, give him a earring or a bee, I don't know, he put it. Then because of that, they now use it to say, ah, we make a earring. There was nobody in the Bible that wear ring. There is no Bible. So if they did not preach the undiluted message that Christ died for, and you are still in that church, you are going to be condemned with them on the last day. If prophet, pastor, preachers, they are not preaching the undiluted word of God, and you and them will be on that last, you will be condemned. Because it's what they are giving you, that is what you are taking. It's what they are feeding you with, that is what you are eating. If they are leading you to distraction, that is the distraction you are going. So the message of God does not come by the will of men. Does not come by the will of men. The only men speak as the Spirit was leading them to speak. So I want you to open your eye now before it's not, it's not too late for you. Open your eye. Don't condemn this Bible. This Bible, the word of God is him. Don't let anybody tell you to turn this Bible and stand down and give to you. When they go to Bible school, let me tell you, those preachers and those prophets, when they go to finish Bible school, they will turn all the scripture aside down. When they say they don't understand the scripture, they will go to testimony. Oh. But Jesus did not die because of testimony. They, they forget your soul to be saved. They forget this your soul. They want you to feel comfortable in your sin. Men don't you, they will tell you, you can have a girlfriend. Hey, daddy, this is my woman that I want to marry, my girlfriend. Okay, come, let me pray for you both. Those are men don't you. There is no way it's this written that go to the altar and engage a woman and pull ring. Go and look the way men, they go to the altar and be doing engagement ring in the altar. Not even marriage engagement. In church. So, I want, to, I want you to know today, if your pastor, your prophet, your teacher, your preacher is not preaching the undiluted word of God, on, as in, both of you will be condemned. If the, you it did not allow the Holy Spirit to lead them, because Holy Spirit leads you to preach. The Holy Spirit only leads you to preach. So if a prophet or a servant of God does not preach the undiluted word of God by the power of the Holy Spirit, hey, both of you on that day, all of them will be condemned. 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 Many people is not preaching by the Holy Spirit leading them now. You see what they say? They say only men be led by the Spirit of God for them to write this word, right? So as you as a pastor, as a preacher, as a servant of God, you're supposed to allow the Holy Spirit also, also lead you, the power of the Spirit leads you to preach. But if you allow the power of God to lead you to preach, that is when you will preach repentance. But if you are preaching in the flesh, you will preach prosperity. Because of the Bible school you went to, you believe you know it all. Don't forget the, the, the verse we read in the Bible, Roma, Roma 10. It says that they established their own righteousness. They established their own righteousness. But they, they don't have the knowledge of God. They don't practice the holiness of God, but their own, they establish their whole righteousness. Which is Bible school they are going to. But they call themselves a servant of God. So what did the book of Acts 5, 20, 26 to 29 says? What did it say? Let's go to the book of Acts. Acts 5, 26, 26 to 29. He said, Then went the, 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 the captain with the officer and brought them without a violence. For they feared the people, lest they should have be stoned. Amen. Least that you are be stoned. Then verse 27. He said, And when they had brought them, they set they sit them before the council. And the higher priest asked them, 28, saying, Did they not we strength command you that ye should not preach in this in this name? And behold, ye have filled Jerusalem with your doctrine, 
and instead to bring this man blood upon us. Verse 29, he said, Then Peter and the other apostle answered and said, We are to obey God rather than men. We are here what to obey God rather than men. So when the apostle preached, they were brought into prison. They were brought into prison because the spirit, the priest, the power of God was dwelling in them for them to preach repentance. You see what they said? He said that as in, they have already fed the people for them to repent, not to believe their false doctrine anymore. But what did they do? Because the spirit of God was in the apostle, they keep on preaching. They commanded them to stop preaching. They put them in the prison. They were warned not to preach anymore. They out there, but they want to. They said they must obey God. They will obey God. How many pastors today want to obey God? Ask your pastor, did you obey God? If you obey God, why is makeup and eyelashes and boyfriend and girlfriend still full in church? Why? Why? If pastor is preaching repentance to your member, why your member are still like the same? But you feel comfortable with them. You made them to enjoy their sin. Is that not doctrine of men? Are you led by the Holy Spirit like that? No. Holy Spirit is pure. It's clean. He only dwells in those that, that, that are holy. He only dwells in those who are ready to preach the undiluted message. Who are ready to preach the word without fear. Paul and the rest of the disciples, they were not afraid. Those people were, were afraid because the Holy Spirit dwells in, in, in apostle. He dwells in them. That is why they were not afraid. Afraid When they get to the prison, what happened? The angel released them from the prison. They were surprised. And they even told them, we are here. The, the, the prisoner officer said, he want to kill said because the door opened and all the prisoners left. What did they say? Peter, come back. We are here. We did not wrong. Don't kill yourself. Because the Holy Spirit dwelt in them, they were not afraid. But then their self was afraid. Because the gospel of Jesus Christ, what he died for was repent from your sins. Repent from your fornication. I believe if your pastor preached that for you, by now, you could have not been exposing your breasts on social media. By now, if you really love that, your you could have not been packing makeup on your face. By now, you could have not been committing adultery, adulteress. By now, you could have not still been lying. By now, you could have not still been using this your mouth to lay curse on people. By now, you could have thrown away all those jewelries. How many pastors have suffered? Ask your pastor, sir. How have you really suffered for God? Some pastor, servant of God, their church has been there for more than 15 years. Which type of suffer they suffer? Listen to all the disciples. They suffer, they want to kill them. They try to kill them because of the rig undiluted word of God that they are preaching. But because the Holy Spirit was with them, there was it's not time yet for them to die until they finish the message. They were saved. Ask your pastor. Pastor, that's also enjoyment you they enjoy. As they say, they attack you because of if your pastor preached the real gospel by now, <laughs> he could have what is happening to him. He could that is what he could have been telling people and said, encourage you people with that word and said, When you want to serve God, this is it, the challenges you will face. But pastors, you people are enjoying. The servant of God out there, the court that said they are enjoying flying private gents, flying. You want to tell me God, the Holy Spirit is in there? We suffer the day suffer. Who they don't want to trade, they don't want to enter car. They don't want to enter, they want to enter private gents. They don't want to use legs. Their children are going to the best school. Nobody, they are afraid of their children. If you go to the church, all guests with makeup, there will be a changing number inside the church. Pastor will say, hey, hey, Marke, what did you do with my daughter? You like my, you love my daughter? You love her? If you love her, come meet me. Pastor, those are the daughters of men. Paul, with all the disciples, they suffer. When they were put inside the prison because they know what they call for. When uh, one of the, uh, the disciples tell, uh, uh, he said, I, will, I told my wife that I will come back. He said, why do you lie? When you know that you can never go back to your wife. You, me and you know that you can never go back to your wife. Because, he, because of this gospel, he left his wife. Because of this gospel, his wife could not see him in the face. No, pastors, 
They, 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 they are with their wife. They don't want to leave their wife. They don't even want police to arrest them. They are friends to police. They bribe police. They don't want to enter that cell at all. He said, hey, if you are a servant of God, God will protect you. You will not enter cell. Who told you? If Peter, if Paul, if all the disciples can go to the prison in this Bible, what makes you think you cannot go to the prison? You see the mad doctrine we are talking about. For them to go to the prison, they begin to, to bribe the police because they have the money to bribe. You think that Paul don't have money to bribe police, but they did not bribe. Because that is what they have to suffer for. That is the suffer for Christ they are talking about. But because they trust in God and they believe the true word of God they were preaching, the angels saved them out of the prison. All the challenges they faced. Stevie, what happened to Stevie? Stevie stand in, in, the, in the pulpit, in the congregation and address them. Tell them the truth. What happened? They drove Stephen outside. They stole Stephen to death. They stole him to death. What did Stephen say? He said, Lord, forgive them. Receive my spirit. Forgive them. They don't know what they are doing. How many pastors, look at pastors are coming out to insult people on social media. You want to tell me that pastor has the spirit of God? Who come out and insult, social, insult people on social media? Lay a curse on them on social media. You want to tell me that pastor is a real pastor? Who stand in the pulpit and insult all everybody outside? Who preach with me? Who, who use me to preach? Who throw away Bible? Who forget the Bible? And begin to preach on his own Bible school? The way he went to Bible school? No. Wake up. If you are going to that church, you are already condemned. Because where that pastor is going, that is the place you are going. Where that servant is going, they call themselves a servant of God. Okay. But are you really a servant of God? Stephen died because of the gospel. He died. He died because of the gospel. He never ran away. Mm -mm. There was opportunity for Stephen to run away, but he did not do it. After the Holy Spirit led him to speak. They carry him. They stole him to death. The only word that he said, Lord, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Acts 2, 59. Read it. Acts 7, 59. Say, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Forgive them. They don't know what they are doing. How many of you, pastor, you are laying calls on people on social media? People on social media is not your topic. For you to preach repentance, for them to repent, you are laying calls on them. And you are still going to that church. I am sorry for you. I am sorry for you. Because the Bible makes us, it says we should hold fast on God. How many of you are ready to hold fast on God? How many of you? How many of you? Many of us want to, we want to, we want to do the things of our own. We don't care. We don't care. All, all, we want to live, many women, they want to live their life for their husband. They want to die like they forget God though. Many people don't, many women don't believe in God. They say their husband is their God. So the glory that belongs to God, you are not giving it to your husband. What belongs to God? You think you are smart. You are saying the truth. You don't go to church. If you are going to church, you are a pastor wife. Look at the way you are doing. You have the one you love. You have the one you hate. You have the, look at the way you, even you as a pastor wife, look at the way you dress. If the spirit of God dwell in you, why can't you be a good example? If really you as a servant of God, you are you are you, the spirit of God make you to preach. Why are you insulting people on social media? Why are you insulting people, sending bribe, sending people to keep people? Why? He said, if I suffer, if you must follow me, deny yourself. Because many people is going to insult you for my sake, for my sake, not any other thing. How many pastors have suffered for Christ's sake that they are insulting you because you, you tell them to repent? Ask your pastor, Pastor, why? Since we have been, they have never insulted because you, you preach about repentance. Like you tell them, stop hearing, hearing. They begin to insult you. How many? Ask your pastor that question. But when he's preaching prosperity, lying in the pulpit, the people are insulting him, he will say, yes, I'm suffering for God. No, you are not suffering for God. The power of the Holy Spirit is not with you. You are just in the flesh doing your own job. Doing your own work. Doing because it's for your belly you are doing it for. Not for Christ. 
If you like, you give billions of people food to eat on this earth. You will never make heaven on the last day. Because why? You never, you never stand as is hold, hold fast on that on the word of God. You never hold on fast on the word of God. You never keep that word of God like this, like a heck. That when you know that when you fall, it is finished. You never hold it, but you allow it to fall. You allow it, you don't care. You are thousands of men, but you are sending them to her. Her. You are teaching people how to have faith. You are teaching people how to make money. You are teaching people that you will spend money for them. All the disciples, they suffer in the Bible. They did not see free money. All of them suffered. They were working. Is that not made adultery? That is made adultery. I hope God will wake you up today. It's the life of the Bible. It's men that write Bible. It's not white people that write Bible. This Bible is white people that write it. I'm telling you today. The same spirit yesterday. The same spirit today. The same Holy Spirit forever. The same Holy Spirit forever. Let's go to the book of Titus. Let's see what Titus tells us. Amen. I pray may the Lord open your eye today in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord God open your eye to know. Run away from Bible school. It's only Bible school people that do this. They think they are serving God. They are far, 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 far away from God. They can quote all the scripture. If they are quoting the scripture for you today. Hey! They can quote all the scripture in the Bible. But are you obeying the scripture you are quoting? That is the issue. If you love me, keep my commandments. If you love me, Kim, so this, I want us, I hope we are getting it clear. We are studying. So, Titus 1, we are going to look at the book of Titus 1, 9 to 11. Titus 1, oh, sorry. Titus, Titus 1, amen, Titus 1. I pray may the Lord open our eye in Jesus' name. We have we have we were lost, but now we are found. Titus 1, verse 9 to 11. We are going to read. It said, holding fast the faith word as the faithful word as he had been taught, that he may be able by sound doctrine both to exhort and to convict the gainers, the gainsayers. Listen to it now. Against us. You people are against us. Some of you are some, some uh, man of God, prof, uh, 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 servant of God, they, call their, they are against us. They are against they are, they are in their own. They are just in their own. They are, they, they are gaining something for themselves. But what the Bible says, say, holding fast the faithful word. Hold that faithful word of God. Do not let that faithful word of God leave you. Hold it very strong. For what? He had been taught. As you have been taught, hold it fast. As they tell you to repent. If not repentance, you repent. Which faith do you have? My faith that I have now. This is what I used to believe this Bible that I'm obeying. That on the last day I will see Christ. There is my faith. That is why I am obeying this Bible. If, if I have a faith of prosperity, I'm due to her. If I have a faith of children, I am due to it. When I forget to repent, when I forget to give to repent first to work on myself, what type of faith are you having? What type of faithful word do you believe on? You said you are too faithful to fail me. Yes, God is too faithful to fail you. But what about you? Are you not failing God? Did you repent? Praise the Lord. Did you repent? He said that he may be able by sound doctrine both to exhort and to convict the gainsayers. So that you will be able, if you hold the faithful word of God, you will be able to convict, to exhort those people who are after money. Because of money, they go speak. They will be speaking, speaking, speaking. They will be speaking big, big grammar in the altar. They will be big, big, big grammar in the altar. They will say, right down, man of God, faster. Right down, sir. Then they speak all, speak all. They'll be clapping for the pastor. Because
because of gain saying they are doing gain saying like they just want to get something that is why they are saying it then verse 10 he said for there are many on rule and vain talkers and deceivers oh there are many listen he said for there are many on rule and vain talkers and deceivers especially day of the circumcision especially you fake people fake pastor fake uh, servant of god they are on rule they are, they, are, they, are, they are vain, as in, they are just talkers. They are talking, but they are not talking the word of God. They are, they are deceiving you, leading you to hell. They are leading you to hell. If they are not telling you to stop making boyfriend and girlfriend, they are leading you to hell. If they didn't tell you that sister, don't sleep with that married man again. They have reports, you don't do it again. They are leading you to hell. But if they keep on telling you, you will make money today, you will make money tomorrow, you will marry tomorrow, all your own is married. Some people, they go to church to church, they are looking for husband, church to church, just husband, one husband, you are going to church to church, church to church, calling pastor, I want to marry you. After you don't use, you don't, you don't misuse your life. Now it's for you to repent and let God repair you again. You still running around the pastor looking for miracle husband, miracle pastor is giving you wife, husband, are you not giving you husband, will that take you to heaven? Those are the doctrine of men. God cannot bring you and tell you, carry fornication, join fornication. No. God cannot do it. Those people, they are just, they are talkers. They are, they, are, they are deceivers. Open your eye now and run for your dear life. They come on life. One of them play me sometimes. Let me tell you this one. This one happened to me on Facebook. I was on Facebook. I see this uh, prophet. What is his name? Uh, is a is a young boy. This is not that Jeremiah in worry. Is a young. This one is a young boy. Jeremiah, name me prophet Jeremiah. But it's not that Jeremiah in worry. But this one is very young. He used to stand in the in something like in the bush back their, their mother backyard. He used to stand in the backyard. He was just praying, praying. He just called my name, and that one is not even my name at, at that time. It's not my name. Hey, I see you. Uh, right now they want to attack you. Right now, as I'm just talking to you, he was just saying it. I say, ah, uh ah, -uh. he just mentioned my name. They want to attack you. Uh, just call my number. Call my number right now. Right now, me and me really, I do it. I do it because I really want to know. Because I've already repented at that time. I want to know. I just like, let me just see who is this. That is why he just called my name. He just called my name. I say, I just see you right now. I just see you right now. See if wish can know their member in the church, in, in the coven. I will know my brother in Christ, my sister in Christ. If the, if I have the that spirit of God is in me, if I see who is serving God in spirit and in truth, I will know my sister and I will know my brother. If wish and wish can know each other, when they see each other in the street, why would I know the, the children of my father? Why would I know my brothers and sister? Listen, open your ear. Then I call the, this Jeremiah. I pick the number. I put, write it on WhatsApp. Listen, when I write the, the, the prophet on WhatsApp, hello, sir. Uh, I'm the one you just talked to. So I'm the one, uh, hello, I'm the one, you, okay, okay. Uh, right now, I just want you to, to send, uh, how much was that? Uh, seven, I don't know, I forget, like Andre Aero. Like, which country are you? And uh, just said, I forget how much you told me to send. He said, send it right now, and let's start. Uh, I see you, they want to kill you, your enemy, this and this. I say, okay, sir, okay, sir. Uh, how am I going to, but there is coronavirus now. We cannot go out and send money. Uh, look for a way to send it, imagine. God, one of you will condemn on the last day if you don't repent. This is how this young boy is praying people, collecting money for people. When I told him there is coronavirus, do you know what he did? He had caught on me. He said, you are not ready. He said, right now, right away, I should go and send him money. I said, ah, even Corona did not reach Nigeria. Would be any country you are. He had caught on me. I know this boy has played many people. All the name of prophecy. You have jumped the wrong prophecy. As in, you are going to hell. If you don't run out and repent. It happened to me. If I see the uh, prophet on Facebook, I will share his video. Your eye will be open. It's a little boy, some young boy like that, but it's not in Nigeria. It's some of uh, South Africa boys. He will carry one oil. He will start in one bush back of back of their house and begin to speak. He will begin to call name. I see you. They are killing you on Facebook. If you see viewers, if you see thousands, I pit you are doomed to hell because there is no power of the Holy Spirit in him. 
There is no power of the Holy Spirit in that boy. It is written in his forehead, is, 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 is Lucifer, that is sending you people to hell. He is just working for in stomach. He is just talking to deceive you all. But you are following him. And you don't know it is a prophecy of God. So I'm here to open your repent now. If you don't leave that, that, that people, if you don't run away from your life, that fake church, that, that church, they are not telling you to, to stop doing buffet and get friend. That church, they are not telling you that makeup, that church, they are not telling you, they only prophesy, your mother, they worry, your mother, they worry you. As I'm talking to you, many of you are not talking to your mother again. Those are mere doctrine. There is no spirit of God in them. What did I say? If they want to see that you want to catch them, they will begin to use money to bribe you. They will just call you, my daughter, come and tell this morning. You, you, you use money to blaspheme your eye. Or you have been crying for husband. When you see that you have already know the truth, he will tell you, say, he will give you husband. He will just carry one. Oh, he married this sister. Imagine. Ah, where is it written in the Bible? That is what I want to know. Where? Where? I am here to tell you today to open your eye. Verse 10, he said, For there are many unrulers and van talkers and deceivers, especially day of the circumcision. Verse 11, the last, he said, Whose mouth must be stopped? Who, who, uh, who subject, whom houses, whose teachings, who things which they out not for flitting Lucifer's sake? Oh, for Lucifer's sake, they are doing it for Lucifer. They are doing it for Lucia. Lucifer, they are doing it for him. Repent and give your life to Christ. Repent now. Don't be deceived, my sister. I am here to tell you, don't be deceived. How many false prophets teaching out there? Many false prophets, they are teaching out there. Open your eye, may you repent. Run for your dear life from that church. Run now before it's too late. Run for your dear life. Anywhere you are going, they are not preaching repentance for you. My sister, run. I beg you, I'm here to tell you. We are learning. Run for your death. As you are, open your Bible with me. As I'm opening this Bible, also open your Bible. We'll be saying it together. Let's go to Hebrew 13, 9 to 14. Hebrew 13. Hebrew 13. Run now. Don't be carried away by the flatty things they are giving you. Don't be carried away. Don't be carried away with that money they are giving you. Because otherwise, I pity yourself. Hebrew 13 verse, verse 9. Let's read. He said, Be not carried about with devices and strong and stranger, dot, a stranger adultery. Hmm. A stranger adultery. He said, For it is it is a good thing that the art be established with grace, not with meat, which have not profit them that have been encoupled therein. Amen. Then verse, verse 10, it says, We have an altar whereof they have no right to eat which serve the tabernacle. Verse 11, For the bodies of those beasts whose blood is brought into a sanctuary by the higher priest for sin are born without the cup. Verse, um, verse, um, verse, uh, 12, verse 12, it says, Wherefore, Jesus said, that he might satisfy the people with his own blood, suffer without the gate. Hmm. Suffer without the gate. Verse 13. Let us go forth therefore unto him without the camp, bearing his reproach. Then verse 14 is said, For ye have we no no continuously a uh, continuously city, but we seek one to come. Amen. But we seek one to come. What does that mean? Do not be carried away. By the strange doctrine they are giving you. They are giving you strange doctrine. The doctrine that does not even exist. That's what they are giving you. We are already satisfied by the blood of Jesus Christ. They are telling you that we are already satisfied, satisfied. By the blood of Jesus Christ. This is not in our home. This earth is not our home. This earth. Don't follow that strange doctrine. They are giving you. Those are strange doctrines they are giving you. Do not follow it. We are already satisfied by the blood of Jesus Christ. This earth we are is not our home. Where we are right now is not our home. We does not belong here. We does not belong here. 
Let your eye be open. You does not belong here. Where you belong, that is where you're supposed to lay your treasure on. Which is everywhere you belong. Do not be carried away, my brothers and sisters. Open your eye and run for, for those false teachers, for servant of God, for prophetess on Facebook. That churches you are going. They are not telling you to repent. They are not telling you to give your life to Christ. Run for your dear life for that church. You 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 live your life anyhow. When you see what word song, you play it. When you see Christian song, you play it. You don't even know you are like a flow and a, a flow and a, you are just going around, just going around like this. You don't know where you belong. On that last day, you will be condemned with them if you don't repent now. I am telling you, my sister, do not let them to, to put you. You see what Bible is? We are already satisfied with the satisfied with the blood of Jesus. Satisfied with the blood of Jesus. This earth is not our home. You both should wake up. Wake up, my, 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 my true believers. Those who worship God in spirit and in truth. Wake up now. Those who are, who are already ordained to eternal life. Wake up now before it's too late. Wake up and run and follow your father. True word of God, you can get healing. True word of God, you can get peace. True repentance, you will get your husband. If you are looking for husband. If you repent. And practice holiness, genuine repentance from your heart. You repent, you are not pretending. You will see that faithful husband that God will send for you. Not the one that will be carrying you the club to club. Not the one that will open shares on Facebook. Not the one that will be playing a reward song. Not the one who, who like flashy thing. Who wants you, you as a wife? He want to buy you all the old car. No. When people are suffering, no. No. Repent, genuine repentance, so you will see that faithful wife who submits to God that will submit to you. Man, repent and follow Christ. A woman who is best friend is God. A man who is best friend is Jesus. Who doesn't have any half friend? Who doesn't, who doesn't walk in the way of the, of the sinner? Who doesn't stand in the way of the sinner? Who doesn't follow the ungodly people? Who doesn't do what they are doing? But rather to be the light and preach to the ungodly people. For them to repent. Whether they want to slap you, preach to them, repent. Even now your pastor, carry this verse Bible, go give them. Tell and say, Pastor, explain this Bible verse for me. Explain this Bible verse for me. I want to understand. What did God really die for? What is that thing that Jesus really died for? Is it prosperity? Is it healing? Is it a dog? What did Jesus die for? He died for you to repent for your sin and the sin you are still committing, and they are still leading you to continue to sin. All those man of God, uh, servant of God, they are still leading you to let me not call the servant of God, servant of uh, Pharaoh. Pharaoh, yes, all those servant of Pharaoh, they are still leading you to commit adultery. All those servant of Pharaoh, they are still leading you to sin. All, okay, servant of Lucifer, uh, Pharaoh, Lucifer is the same thing. Because they work together. Servant of Lucifer. All they do is for their own belly. They want to send you. You are condemned if you don't repent now. He said, it's a unit of faith. Unit of faith. Faith, what is that faith they appreciate to you? Faith is what? Because you believe the gospel. You believe it and you obey it. Because you don't see Jesus. But you obey it. Because you believe one day you will see him. This is faith. Faith is a substance of things that you are not seeing. You are not seeing that thing. But you have faith, you have hope, you believe it. Of things that you are not seeing. This is it. Do not tell me to obey this Bible. I believe it. And I have that faith. That is why we are said of Abraham. What did Jesus do to Abraham? He just said, Abraham, go. Abraham did not that. He believed and go. He had the faith. That is why he was justified. Abraham was justified by faith. Are you the son of Abraham? Who are you? Or the, the Lucifer? When Pastor Abraham, if you see some men bad now, because a pastor just gave him 1,000 naira, he said, you can't. Look at the way they are insulting, when they're telling the truth. Look at the way they are pouring insults on that person that said the truth. 
If I tell you the truth, you pour insult for me. Oh, I will be very happy. Because I know where I'm going. Ah. But don't pour insult on me on my arrow. And I will say I'm working for God. That is, that is, there is no, there is no reward for me on that. Because I, what made that to pour insult for me? I'm the cause. It's not the, because of God. No. There are some people, they have the spirit, but the spirit have left there. They think they still have the spirit. There are, there are many servants of God. They know where the spirit come. But when the spirit is going, you will never know. Many servants of God, they, are, they, they, they have branches all over everywhere. Everywhere. Repent now, my sister, otherwise you will be condemned with them. Because there is no Holy Spirit in that place. If you don't want to be condemned with them, repent now. Run for that church. When they are clapping for you when you have a boyfriend, run for that church. Don't, don't participate. Don't be there. Re run for your dear life. You are, when you are sleeping with that girl who's not your wife, you are carrying costs. When you are still wearing jeans, you are carrying costs. Run for your dear life. Tell them to, 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 to explain Deuteronomy 22 verse 5 for you. They will say, eh, eh, I cannot force you not. No. Say the truth. It is scripture already. You cannot change. It's if you remove or you had this Bible, you will receive all the cost that is in the Bible. You know there is many cost in the Bible. You, it will be on your head. If you remove and you add, it will be on your head. So say the truth and let the the children of God be saved. Those who have already ordained to eternal life. Pastors. Bible school pastors. Save those children. You, you that is planning to take your daughter or your son to Bible school. I pity for you. Run now. Don't take them to Bible school. This is where the Pope Lucifer started. Bible school is made doctrine. It's not God doctrine. Human beings cannot teach you what the things of the spirit. It's only God can teach you. Who is a spirit? It's not a physical school that you graduate. You, you get degree. You get diploma. No. Uh -uh. Now so now see God finish. Now you see him finish. God feel your give. The cost of God feel your give you that grace for you to know. You can't open school. Now you want to be God where they teach people now. People call they pay money. They come by Bible school. They told the Bible I sat down for them to learn. Do they send them to a fire? Fi worry are your boss alone boss to Omana fi worry. Hey. Oh, 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 seven, the dead area. Your spirit will bear your weakness on that last day. How you live on this earth. Whether you for good or for bad. Whether you go church, go to look for boyfriend. Or you go church, go to dance, you have to, to dance, or you go church to go praise pastor, or you go church to go tell pastor, say you get problem, may give you money, or you go church, what is your intention of going to church? Or you pastor, you open church for people to they come because they speak be English. Mean that they respect your wife. Ephesians 5, verse, verse 4 to 15. Ephesians 4, verse Ephesians chapter 4, open your Bible. Chapter 4. Verse 13 to 15. I read in Jesus' name. He said, Till we all come in the unit of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, unto a perfect man, unto a measure of the status of the fullness of Christ. Verse 14. That we and forth, that we and forth be no more children, toast to and flow. Oh, now that, now that one be one, remember what they said, uh, flow. Toast and flow. You'll be that person year and year, year and year. Tomorrow, you're there. Yeah. Next tomorrow, you're there. Yeah. You know, tomorrow, you're there for Satan. Next tomorrow, you're there for God. Tomorrow, you're there for Satan. You're there for the kid. If you sleep with that brother today, tomorrow you go to church. He doesn't love me too much. If you don't, if you don't pack my couple for face, tomorrow you run to church. Next tomorrow, you say, hey, see you. You are toast and flow. You don't have, tomorrow you go idol. You go serve Juju. Next tomorrow, you go church. He said, let everybody stand in one unit faith. Let everybody stand in undiluted message that Jesus has given us. That we should repent. Repent, this is our faith. That we should repent, this is our faith. We don't see Jesus. We have not seen him. He's a spirit. But because of the word he gives us, we believe it and we follow by faith. On that last they say, the righteous shall stand by faith. Say that in English. The righteous, 
that stand by faith. So what type of faith do you have? I, I believe in the word of God then begin to walk on myself by faith with it. Obeying it with it, faith, faith. Don't worry. Don't run. Don't run for your dear life in that church. Keep on going to that church because they are playing music. You, as my brother, you just maybe you just started a ministry. If any girl that is wearing jeans is coming to your church, drive them. Tell them no. Wear skirt. Go a woman. Or do a woman have to wear skirt or gown? Go back home. I'm not looking for members. But if one so repent, if, if not only one so you win, go give God. And that one so he repent genuinely. Every will rejoice than hundred people who are full of sin to praise him. Who are their, their tongue, they call the name of God. But they are, they are far from God. Amen. So, then verse, verse, uh, verse, I can, verse 14, I read again. It said that we and forth be no more children, toast to and flow, and carry about with every weed of doctrine. Oh, that they believe everything. Every two pastor tell them, I don't want to talk. Like they are believing everything. By the by the slate of men and common uh, craftishness, uh, whereby they lie in wait to deceive. They are lying for you. He said, whereby they lie. Any English I cannot pronounce, you can help me to pronounce it if you are there. They lie. For the Holy Spirit give me the understanding of what in me. They lie. They are just there to deceive you. They are just there to send you to hell. They are just there to kill you, to kill your career, to kill your calling. For you not to remember, maybe you are not even be past that pastor hole. Maybe your own ministry will be more better than that. The grace, the anointing in you is greater than pastor. That, that pastor see it. He kills you. And say, Peter, I will be using money to carry you. I will be giving you money every month. Thank you, daddy. You will see the way they are lying down on the ground. You will see, oh, a man. You are lying down a woman. Mommy! Mommy, you lie down. You have not, as in sleep for God, you are sleeping for human being. Giving what belongs to God to human being. It's not normal. That is my doctrine. That is not the spirit of God. That is walking in there. Open your eye. Open your eye. I know what I see. Oh, thank God. They, are even, they have already blind your spiritual eye. Even when you're supposed to know, you will, know, you will use money. See, it will give you money. It go the same because why they don't want me on a no sin at day, not fake. They, they use money, they cover. They're not so not they, 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 they hungry, according to some people here. Yeah. As in your enemy, you are hungry, not you. And you they eat all, you need money. You still need money. That is why. This is how they come. They use that money to deceive you all. They are giving you money. Yes. That man is a good man. Yeah, that pastor, he just gave me one, a one million. He's a good say he's a fake. You are lying. Look at the words that come after. Have you ever seen repentance words in their mouths? Have they ever called you and said, don't wear this skirt to this place again. It's too short. Don't wear this again. It's written in the Bible, please. This is the ass of God. You need to be filled with the Holy Spirit. But they use money to bribe. They bribe all of you all. Oh. They bribe all of you all. That is why you need to open your eye. If I die because of you, I am happy. I know where I am going. I know where I am going. Who believe that pastor that they cash that went to go and do sacrifice to, for this church? And if you see people because of miracle, women with miracle, women, sister, you with miracle. Prophecy, especially women, more dust running from church to church looking for miracle. Are you not going to tire? Right from your age, you, you as a mother, you are running from pastor church to church looking for miracle. Are you not tired? This is the time your soul needs to save. Repent and let your soul be saved so that on the last day you go see Jesus. On the last day, angel go welcome you, Jesus go stand at you. Look at some men, some men on Facebook. They are, they are writing on your guests, and you have a wife. When they see that they are professing, you will see the way they are commenting. If not prophets are the gift for years, forget it. If it is prophetic that I'm giving years, this Facebook, Facebook for the fool. 
But since I'm telling them the truth, they don't want to hear the truth. They will even say, we say this girl, they suffer. I know they suffer. Are you Europe right there? I know they suffer. Why am I not suffering? I eat as normal as they eat. So now I, I, I am concerned of those who are out there who cannot even eat. I'm concerned of those who are out there who their soul is going to lose. Who is after food, 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 food. The food that I eat every day is the bread of life that will take me to eternal life. I am rich. I don't follow my doctrine. No. Verse 15. It says, but speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things, which is the head, even Christ. You see, speaking the truth with love. Now wait till I can do so. I am speaking the truth, my brothers and sisters, with love to you. I am speaking the truth with love to you, my brothers and sisters. I am here using my subscriptions, telling you the truth with love because I love you. I care about you. I want your soul to be saved. All those people, they are just, they are talkative. They are just trying to deceive you with money so that your soul, you, you will lose this your soul. You will lose this your soul. Don't believe what they are saying that don't, don't follow the Bible. Don't believe them. Read your Bible every day. Read your Bible every day. Because it said, the doctrine of God come through Christ. The doctrine of God come through Christ. The doctrine of God come through Christ. Believe so that ye may have eternal life, my brothers and sisters. Believe so that you may have eternal life. You must follow the rules of Christ to enter the kingdom of God. If you did not follow the rules of Christ, you can never go there. If you follow the rules of men, you will end up in hell. But if you follow the rules of Christ, you will end up in heaven. You will end up in heaven. It's, see, let me tell you, those apostles, they believe. See, let me tell you, they who believe apostles, then those people that believe apostles, believe Christ also. If you believe what I'm saying now, you believe Christ. If you believe what the, the man of God, they are preaching all diluted message. If you believe it, you believe Christ. You believe it. And what? Who believe Christ also believe God. Amen. Who believe Christ also believe God. Because Christ is God. God is Christ. Praise the Lord. Let's go to the book of John 12. John 12. If you are with your Bible, open the book of John 12. John 12, 40. John 12, 49. 49 to 50, I read. He said, He said, For I have not speak of myself. Listen, listen. For I have not speak of myself, but the Father which sent me, he gave me a commandment with what I should say and what I should speak. Verse 50, he said, And I know that his commandment is life everlasting. Hmm. Whosoever I speak, therefore, even as the Father said unto me, so I speak. Listen, you see it. You see it. He said, The word he speak is his Father that gave him. He said, The Father who sent gives a commandment what to say or what to speak. It's only God that gives you, the Holy Spirit that gives you what to say, what not to speak. You want to tell me that the Holy Spirit gives you. Let me open your, let me just give you a word. Like Holy Spirit will tell you that, uh, if you want to bribe me, come and bribe me as a servant of God. Holy Spirit will tell you, if you want to bribe me, come and bribe me. What abomination. Holy Spirit is telling you to, to bribe him. Like if you want to bribe me, come and bribe me. Holy Spirit will be telling you that. What can Holy Spirit be telling you that? If you, why don't you want to open your eye and run now when it's not too late? Open your eye now and run for your dear life for that kind of church. Holy Spirit cannot tell you to come and bribe him. If you, if when Paul, all the level disciples were suffering for Christ, my people, there was full of joy upon them, beat them. 
They beat them. See the way they did to Paul Peter. They were still enjoying. They were still enjoying it. Because why? They were beating them because of truth. They were beating them because of the true gospel. They was bold to say, yes, we are in the right track. And the Holy Ghost in them, we are healing them. I don't want to cry. The Holy Ghost in them, we are healing them. When they beat them because of truth, they beat them. What happened? The Holy Ghost hit them. The next day, they, they, were, they were feeling happy. They were, they were feeling joy in them. They never complain. They never say, God, why me? They never come and say, you, or call anybody and say, you, don't, don't condemn my name again. Don't spread my name. Nothing like that. Or even all, all those people, we had, all those Pharisees who called themselves a Christian, who was persecuting them, they never made sure that Paul or Peter is it. They were saying that they did not believe in that Christ. They did not believe in them. I am telling you, open your eye. Open your eye. The Holy Ghost is, 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 is oh, is qualified. See, the Holy Ghost qualify a man to be saved. The Holy Ghost qualify a man to be saved. Which is the Son of God. The Holy Ghost qualify a man to be saved. Even when they are beating you. That is what happened to Paul. All those Peter, all those the, the 11 apostles. When they were preaching, they persecute them. They persecute them. Even Stephen, the death of Stephen. Nobody wants to die for the gospel. You don't want to die. The Holy Spirit qualify you. He, he, he qualify you as a man. To be saved, to be saved. The Holy Spirit qualify you as a man to be saved, which is the Son of God. Amen. Let's go to 2 Peter 1, verse 16. Let's go to 2 Peter. 2 Peter. Open your heart for God now. As you are hearing this message, don't go to that church. If you know those things that I'm saying, they are doing it in your church. Don't go again. Sit down for a house. May you read your Bible. Tell God. I don't want I don't want to I don't want me to deceive me. I don't want them to deceive me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We all are learning together right now. We are learning together. As I they tell you now, so I they learn. As I they talk now, so me they learn from it. Amen. Let's go to 2 Peter 1, verse 16 to 21. What did he say? Verse 16 says, For we have not followed. A, 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 a courageous devices uh, fabrics when we made him, when we made no unto you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ but we are high weakness of his majesty we were high weakness of the majesty praise the Lord he said we bring to you the good news of Christ we bring to you the good news of Christ we are high weakness we hear God's voice on the mountain amen then verse 17 said, he said, For he received from God the Father honor and glory. When there came such a voice to him from the excellent glory, this is my beloved son, in whom I am well placed. Verse 18, and this voice which come which came from heaven we heard. When we were with him in the holy mountain, in the holy mountain. We have also a more sure word of prophecy. We are unto ye do well that ye take heed, as unto a light that shineth in a dark in a dark place, till the day down, and the day star arise in your heart. Verse twenty. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. No prophecy on the scripture. No prophecy on the scripture is private interpretation. I don't know if you understand it. There is no word in this Bible that is, is private. Amen. No prophecy of the scripture is of the private interpretation. Verse 21, the last verse, and not the least. He said, For the prophecy came not in all time by the will of men, but holy men of God speak as they were led. By the Holy Ghost. 
and they were what lead by the Holy Ghost. Anyone who does not obey Jesus Christ, do obey Jesus is none of God. Let's go to you see, you you see it now. You see it now. It's a no prophecy. Is is a private that interpretation that you will not understand. Is your call, the people can't call you for corner? Hey, come, I want prophesy for you. No, every is everything is written in the scripture. Let's go to Second John. You will get it clear now. Second John two one to Second John two uh, one Second John one nine. Amen. He said, "Whosoever transgets and abide not in the doctrine of Christ, had not God." He that abides in the doctrine of Christ, he had both the Father and the Son. Amen. Who did not stand in the doctrine of God? Who did not practice holiness? Who did not practice righteousness? Who still pack with own attachment, eyelashes, makeup, Bible school, uh, adultery, lying, heaviness, uh, pride, self righteousness? You are not of God. Stinginess. No humanity in you. You are not for God. Go and examine yourself. You are not for God. First Peter 4 verse 1 to 6. Verse that we said. For as, for as much than as Christ had suffered for us in the flesh. Harm yourselves likewise with the same mind. For he that had suffered in the flesh had ceased from sin. Verse 2, he said that he no longer should live the, the rest of his time in the flesh to the lust of men, but to the will of God. Lust of men means you are following men's doctrine. You are lost in after men's doctrine. You are lost in. Pablo say, go sleep with that man, not me. I beg, bring husband, bring that boy for your boyfriend. Who is your boyfriend, my daughter? This is what they are telling you in the church. Who is your boyfriend? Show me your boyfriend. So that you will no longer live like that anymore. Verse 3, he said, For the time past of our life may suffer us to have wronged the will of the jetter. When we walk in lavasiriousness, lost essence of wine, essence of wine, revealing requirements and abominable idolatry. Like fornication, like what I just make up, made now. Savvy idol, what, the things I just uh, call for you now. Savvy idol, all those things. So that you will not be living for those things again. Because why? Christ suffered for us in the flesh. So that why? You may suffer in the flesh so that it will be seized. The, the sin will be seized. When you suffer the flesh, you will not sin again. Suffer the flesh. Obey the, obey, obey the spirit. Obey the spirit. Then, Verse, I read verse, verse, verse 4. We are in they think it's strange that ye run not with, with them to the same essence of roots, speaking evil of you. Verse 5. Who shall give account to him that is ready to judge thee quickly and the dead? The dead. Verse 6, the last verse. For it says, For this cause was the gospel preached also to them that are dead, that they may be judged according to men in the flesh. But live according to God in the spirit. You see, those people who are dead, the gospel will still judge them because before they die, they yet repent. Re as are the crown, so repent from that church, not they go that church again. Hey, oh. You die in righteousness. Better pass you die in sin. You go to hell. You die in righteousness. Better pass you go, you, you die in sin and go to hell. And go what to hell. Let look Roma. Because see, Christ suffer in the flesh. Be ready also to suffer like him. Be ready because Christ alone don't suffer for this flesh. Be ready also for you to be suffered. For you likewise you to be suffered. That you will be saved. If you suffer in the flesh, you will be saved, my brothers and sisters. You will be saved. Christ don't already come suffer also for the flesh for you. You also suffer. No. They say, God already suffer for us now. God have already suffered for us. 
what are we going to suffer again when God already suffered for? This is what people are saying. You see? Okay. Roman level verse 7. You are almost, you are almost close. Roman level. Verse 7. He said, What then? Israel had not obtained that which he seek for. But the election, the election had obtained it. And that rest were blinded. You see, the Jetta received the gospel. But the Jews were blinded. They were blind. They were blind. Those who, 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 the, who are really Israel, which are the Jews, they refused to receive the gospel. They, they rejected the gospel because they were blind. Like many of us today, we are blind. You don't want to repent. Okay. He said the Jews are blind. Yes. yes. They are blind for the Jetta to be saved. They disappoint and rejected Jesus. Salvation has come to the Jetta to provoke them jealous, to jealousy. Now salvation has come to the Jetta to provoke the Jews jealousy. Now they are already jealous. They started preaching prosperity. Using money to bribe you. Hey, money, money. Come, oh, I'll give you one million. Repent now before it's too late. Oh. You are looking at me. This is just the truth I'm telling you. I'm not reading of my own. This was in the Bible that I'm giving you. Repent. The gospel, they disappoint, uh, the Jews disappoint. They were disappointed and they rejected God. So because why? There was no Holy Spirit in there. So that many pastors are there. This is what they are. There is no Holy Spirit. If Jesus corner, they will go deny Jesus. Because there is no Holy Spirit to, to that discernment for them to know if it's really Jesus or not. That spirit of discernment have left them for long. If Jesus just come now, if Jesus came now, they will not know that Jesus come. Because they are already blind. Amen. And I pray may the Lord open their eye. Now that it's not too late in Jesus' name. And those members in that church, and they cry for your soul. You that is going to that church, I'm crying for your soul. You that, 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 that is insulting people. Pastor, you don't even know. You have not gone to that pastor house. People are saying the truth about that. You are, you are insulting these people. I'm sorry for you. I'm sorry for you if you don't repent now and, and practice your own holiness and righteousness. He said, Jeremiah 13, verse 15 to 17. Say, yeah, and give ear. Jeremiah, let's go. Let's go to Jeremiah 13. If you are with me, yes, Jeremiah 13, 15. 15. He said, yeah, 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 and give ear. Be not proud, for the Lord has spoken. Give glory to the Lord your God before he caused darkness, and before your feet slumber upon the dark mountains. And while ye look for light, he turn it into a shadow of death, and make it grass darkness. Listen, this is for you. Then verse 17, the last verse, and not be least. But if ye will not hear it, my soul shall weep in secret place for your pride. Oh, and my eyes shall weep sore and run down with tears because the Lord's flock is carried away. Captivity. The because you are gone, I go cry. It's a year now. Open your ear now and hear my brothers and sisters. Turn to light now and run for darkness. Because pride has taken over many preachers. He said, yeah, and give ear. Yeah. Do not be proud for Jesus speak. Give glory to God. Men are collecting Jesus' glory now. They are collecting Jesus' glory. They are collecting Jesus' glory. He said, to Jesus Christ, before you die in your sin. Jesus Christ will cry for your soul if you refuse to believe that it is he. He will cry for your soul. He will cry. At, let's look at R22 verse R22 verse 15 to 16. At R22. I hope we are we are get we are we our our, our spiritual eye is open. R22 verse 15 to 16. I read in Jesus' name. R22 verse 15 to 16 said, For thou shalt thou shalt shall be his weakness unto all men. Of what thou hast seen and yet. Verse 16. And now, why tear thou? Rise and be baptized and wash away the sin, calling on the name of the Lord. Do you hear? Now go and baptize. Repent now 
and baptize. My brothers and sisters, repent now and baptize in the name of Jesus Christ. You are Jesus' weakness. I am telling you, you are Jesus' weakness. Repent now and go and baptize in the name of Jesus. If you don't repent and baptize in the name of Jesus, the end shall not be good for you, my brothers and sisters. The end shall not be good for you. Repent now and baptize. This is the word. I repeat that Jeremiah again for you. I repeat this act for you. It said, For thou shalt be his weakness unto all men of what thou hast seen and yet. And now why tire thou? Arise and be baptized and wash away that sin. Call it on the name of the Lord. Go now and baptize. Repent, my brothers and sisters, and baptize in the name of Jesus Christ. Dwell away with all those sins that will lead you to hell. Remove yourself from those sins that will lead you to hell. That you know it will not profit you. You see, what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and lose his soul? What shall he give back in return? Why proverb? Let me quickly read this and add this to it. I am telling you, my brothers and sisters, repent now and give your life to Jesus. Repent now and accept Jesus Christ. Throw away anything that is none of God. It's a wise man we hear. Listen, Proverbs chapter 1 verse 5 says, A wise man we hear and we increase learning. And a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsel. I am telling you now, a wise man will hear and run for that first church. A wise man will hear this word and run for that first, first, uh, all those sin, all those fornication, adultery, all those pride. Run now. A wise man, repeat, Proverbs 1 5. A wise man will hear and will increase learning. In learning, we increase in learning. And a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsel. I am here to tell you again, my brothers and sisters. Jesus love you. Jesus love you. Jesus came back again and tell you in Proverbs chapter 4 verse 1. He said, Yeah, ye children, the instruction of, of a father, and attend unto understanding, for I give good doctrine. Forsake ye not my law. Jesus is telling you, forsake not his law, for I was my father's son. Tender and holy begotten in, in, in his side of my mother. He taught me also and said unto me, Let the heart re retain my word, keep my commandment and live. My brother and sister, keep the commandment of God and live. Get wisdom, get understanding. Forget it not. Neither descend from the word of the mouth. For I tell you today, Jesus is telling you, here is what now, before it's too late. May God Almighty bless you all. This is the word that I have for you this evening. And as you join me today, God bless you. And I pray that the Lord Almighty give you the understanding of this word today in the name of Jesus Christ. And may the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. You will, you will not only be the hearer. I pray to God Almighty that you will also be the doer of this word that you hear today in the name of Jesus Christ. May God Almighty protect you all. May he give you the heart to live that, that darkness and brought you into light in the name of Jesus Christ. May salvation locate your home in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, for this wonderful word today. Thank you for all you have done. Thank you for the grace. Thank you for the opportunity. And thank you for the word that you speak through us today in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I tell you once again, repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus. Don't forget to share. Amen.